Yeah. Good morning. My name is Kim Warner, and I have a group of wonderful individuals here that we are um, doing a Bible study. Usually we don't uh, broadcast it, but we're going to start because I have found that we have a lot of men and women that want to do better in families, but they don't know how to. So the discovery leads us back to nature versus um, nurture. The woman is the nurturer and the um, male is the nature aspect. And that means that man is going to always be about um, the world taking care of his family. That's the way it's supposed to go. Uh, the woman is the nurturer. That means that she, she nurtures the emotions of the child. And so if we don't know that, then how can we get better, right? So this is where we are. Um, I did pull up a book on um, the uh, virtuous woman. And um, let me put my glasses on. I sent the link to those that I, I had their phone numbers. And that is not for um, those of you that may listen on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. You can get it if you want to understand um, the dynamics of what we're talking about um, by inboxing me. I, I think that if anybody really reached deep and they looked at life, they would say that they want to be a part of healing their own families and healing community. You have to start with yourself individually first. And don't ever let um, the things in life that you went through take the uh, healing aspect or the love that God had wanted for you away. And that's, that's a, a struggle because things that have happened to us through our life course can make us bitter and angry, can make us confused, give us depression, um, we look at poverty amongst families, but it can all turn around if your belief system is strengthened and if you uh, believe in yourself more than anything and that there's a higher power God working with you. All right. So um, going to Proverbs 31, but I'm going to uh, relate to the, the book. And I, I have some wonderful people here that actually they'll give commentary and um, their thoughts on how they feel about whatever, which is a good thing because if you don't talk about what you feel, even in an exercise of information, what happens is, is that you're just taking somebody else's thoughts and making them your own. You got to learn to think for yourself. And that means that you matter. <coughs> All right. So, um, just give me a minute to find this. I'm going to just go on and pull it up in my email because my phone is new and I, I don't know it. You know, it was talking to me and, um, <laughs> look, <laughs> love that it was. So you got to keep humor in your life too, right? Yes. You do. Uh, most people have uh, said things to make us feel bad, and we took it as them making us feel bad. And we have to learn how to undo what people have done to us because we let them do it. That's the power of change, your life, and it's the power of who you are. You know, no one is greater. I hope that people that I work with would begin to do study groups to empower each other. Um, I've always worked with people and, you know, I feel like over the years it's made me a better person. I understand people better even when they don't believe that I understand them. If they're hurting, sometimes they need to hurt uh, because the hurt is what gets you to the blessing of who you are. There is no sunshine, I told uh, y'all, without rain. Right. And if there was only sunshine, then you wouldn't know uh, the other half of life. If there was no darkness, how would you know that there was something more to light? Okay? So you, you look at the fact of the matter that the battery has a plus sign and the battery has a negative sign. Positive and plus the battery cannot work without it. It's the same with us. We have a dark side and we have a light side We needed to go through a lot of the things that we went through to get to the sunshine of who we are The darkness is a good thing But a lot of people stay in the darkness. So how do we? Get better That's not it We have to look at some things 
and master them. Who has depression? Who experiences? Yes, I do. Okay, so depression means that you've been pressed down or oppressed. Now you have to learn how to rise up. Okay, doesn't it make sense? Depressed. It's depressed. deep. You're depressed. depressed. So you you have to. And and who's waiting on? their ability to rise up who's not looking at that they have the power to who's not looking at the, the fact that they have the power to rise up you're not um no i don't um yeah okay, i can't explain it Kim, but um uh, it's not every day that it happens but at times it happens. Okay. I, I don't know why. I just, you know, I get to thinking about things like you said in the past, mm -hmm. which is not good, but I don't understand why I can't let some of those things go. Okay. All right. So with understanding, wisdom will come. When you start seeking understanding, wisdom will come. And that's the Proverbs. Um, whatever a man seeketh in his heart, it, it, it so it is. So then you had to realize that, did I bring on the longevity of depression by thinking about depressing things? Because mm -hmm. the thoughts are the origination of who we are. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Whatever you think is what you will become. So today you have the ability um, to turn it around. So I'm going to read to you. Um, this is from, um, I want to uh, address and give credit to the women or the individuals that wrote this book. And so I'm going to um, just scroll down. And forgive me. Um, and, and it's becoming a woman of virtue in a modern world. And uh, the publishers uh, or the, uh, the writers, um, Anjanette Barr, Whitney Colnerson, Colner, Colon Lasson, forgive me, Jennifer Fountain, Virginia George, Crystal Hatcher, Sarah Nichols, Rachel Marie, Ashley Rowe, Kendra Stanley or Stammy, uh, Daniel Tate, and Carly Herbulus. So I don't take credit for this um, writing the book. Uh, the only thing that I would want from this is to say thank you to the uh, writers and the publishers for putting it out because women and men uh, can grow from this. All right. So I set before everyone a sheet that they can take home that describes um, day one of this here venture for um, a woman and a man of virtue. I'm going to call it that because I feel like men can glean gems from this to understand um, how to nourish a woman as well as a woman nourish them okay any questions just um um stop me some people say miss kim wait so it says when you think of being set apart what do you think of a avoiding certain places clothing speech or people it's easy to think of what not to be um set apart but what things can we do to be a to be set apart does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's asking you, do you understand what it means to be set apart? And I don't think uh, often people look at that because set apart means that you're an individual, right? And that means that you have the power to do something. And someone will um, speak that to you, which you will get to that. They'll speak that into your life and tell you that you are a wonderful person. You are an accentuation to life. And even if they didn't hear today, you hear it. The part that doesn't register well with that is acceptance. That's an individual thing. Um, in the Bible, they talk about being set apart, preachers and, and priests and pastors, that kind of thing. But I believe that we can look at ourselves and say that we were set apart to be something great in the work field. Uh, in the community. You understand? And that means that you give it your all. You give your good. You love on people no matter what. You set apart to love to be a blessing. You take it and you make uh, a declaration. You know, I remember um, 
Latoya was going through some things with cash and so I pulled up information on bullying. People don't realize how things fall in their lap. A mother that has a kid that's diagnosed with a sickness, autism, that's something that you're possibly set apart with, but we take it for granted. Anyone that has had mental illness and they overcome it could be an advocate for mental illness. This is being set apart. Um, in the losses, you overcome. A person that's been on addiction can be someone that advocates or helps and assists people that are going through addiction. Someone that has been homeless and they're in a home now. The, you understand? They become someone that other people can look at and say against the odds they overcame. All right. So set apart. Go and look at it for yourself. Take it serious because a lot of reasons why we don't overcome is because we don't believe even the word of God. When we say we're Christians, you got to have a foundation of belief. There has to be a, like this floor. You got to walk on this floor, right? In order for this. Okay. This, this floor is your foundation. It's sustaining you. Where your faith is, is your, your sustainability. I am a liberal type of person. I am a teacher spiritually. I don't believe in a separation. I believe that all religions are about love. That's it. So if anyone said, oh, you got to study this in order to be a part of that. No, you got to have love. You got to study love. You have to forgive. That's that's what we're right. building here. Or oh, my T-shirt. I'm going to stand up so they can see it later. My T-shirt is love. Why? Why put a conference together? Because you want money? No, I would love to see families healed. I would love to see a father that cannot see his his children see them again. So there's custody, you know, uh, cases, uh, situations, but people that can come in and talk to them and say, this is the way I would love to see a mother that's going through that. See her child because separating family causes pain, not just for the parents, but for the children. So we go on set apart. You can heal, but you got to be a part of a support a support system that says somebody's going to be there for me. How do you build support? It's not with one person wearing a t-shirt. It's with everybody that can hear it, you know, uh, wearing a t-shirt. So many people have not owned real estate. Why? Because they don't have the guidance and they don't know how to do it. God does not look at money as an issue. All right. So we are blessed to have the Bible as our guide for both what we should and should not do. Nothing gives better guidance to women and men. So let's examine the introduction to Proverbs 31. We have heard so much about. OK, this is about a king. And that's why I said this is not just about women. And I'm glad that God put it on my heart to go in that direction because I don't believe a man can change without a woman lifting her up. I have three sons and it doesn't matter what state one of them is in. Two of them have went on to do well in their lives. I believe that that other one has a journey that he will come back to and do well in his life. You keep the faith and hold the space for people. Mm -hmm. Even when you doubt yourself, mm -hmm. you, if you can keep the faith and hold space for other people, that means you can do it for yourself. So you do not set yourself out. You begin to open your mouth and pray for other people. Pray what? Not some dynamic intercessor prayer, but Lord, thank you for their life. Thank you for their soul. How do I get to work every day? Because people not only depending on me, but God is. All right. So in the very beginning, we see the words penned are from King Lamel, uh, Lamuel, based on the inspired utterance taught to him by his mother, his mother. What is an inspired utterance? The Hebrew word translated to utterance is masa, which means a burden. Solemn speech, tribute, mm -hmm. singing. From this we can gather that the King Lemuel's, Lemuel's mother spoke or sang to him probably over and over again the same message. This is likely something she wanted to instill in him. As mothers and fathers, we want our children to know right from wrong. We want them to understand 
that the world is full of things that are not beneficial. All right. And that you can mark that so that you can remember that if you don't speak something to them positive constantly, the world is going to speak something to them. From studying the Hebrew words of verses 1 through 9, we see that she speaks of avoiding intoxication and in women who will lead him down a path that takes him away from his intended purpose in life. And then some people will say, well, I don't know what my child's purpose in life is. He was purposed to get here. That's his purpose until or she until you understand what their purpose is. When you watch your children, you know, you, you know their purpose because you can see what their dynamic at a child that's energetic will need to be in athletic ventures. Exactly. That's true. Let's just say that. That's true. All right. And then you look at more, but you're looking at not the fact that they're energetic or they're getting in trouble that they're bad. What is it that they need? That's what mothers do. Mothers are nurturers. So they nurture even the negative behavior. We're not just speaking, but we're guiding it, right? Oh, there's need for discipline because, you know, if you do not chastise the child like God chastises us, he lets us go through our situation. Then that child will not know right from wrong. They'll just do what they're doing. Exactly. You know, there's a, a thing, a person that is wild will not know how to be structured if you don't give them structure. So we, it, it's a lot there that we have to learn, right? And the person's personality or child's personality or even adult, you know, she might say, well, I just keep coming up with this here type of lifestyle in this relationship. The reason why is because it's something in your belief of yourself. The other thing is it could be that your structure never gave you the understanding of what a promise keeping man was. So you're looking at something other than that. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's you got to. Find what you want to get. And I do acknowledge that there are a lot of us that was never given a definition of a man. The Bible will tell you. Now, I like David, even though he had um, he had affairs. I like him because he was strong. And then he repented, even though he made mistakes. I love the fact that a man can he can lower himself in an ego. I didn't pray for a man like David. I pray for the fantasy type of guy. But anyway, my point is you've got to have an invisible type of man that you want. And he can't be somebody that you take care of. He has to be in his place. The man has to be able to take care of you because that's the nature in him. All right. OK, so anyway, let's talk about what um, his mom said to him. So day one on your paper, it says. Day one, King Lamel and the inspired utterance his mother taught him. She says, now this is the woman. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son. The answer to my prayers. Do not spend your strength on women. Your vigor on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, Lamuel. It is not for kings to drink wine. Not for rulers to crave beer lest they drink and forget what has been decreed and deprive all the oppressed of their rights. So now she's talking about community because he's a leader. Now, even when your child is born, a man is a leader because he's going to have to lead his family. So there's your purpose for him now. OK. And so the mother that birthed him is speaking into his life. As he's growing up, the same thing, telling him who he is. What do you think he's going to get out of that when, once he, he grows of age? That's all he's going to believe. So that's where we, we go back and we understand um, what's really happening and what we need to redo. Now, what we can't redo, we can pass on to others. That's why... A Bible study group or a group is infectious because you can spread good things to help other people. And then the good is going to help you because we're doing it unto each other. So she said, let beer be for those who are perishing, 
wine for those who are in anguish. Let them drink and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. All right. Um, for the rights of all who are destitute, speak for them. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Proverbs 31, 1 through 9. What you see here is her telling, be a, a man, not worrying about women. Honor the leadership in you. Go out and help people that are destitute. Don't be drinking all the time. Yeah. Don't be getting drunk because you won't be aware. No. Be a man that will help your communities. In um, Klein to that, you will find a woman that is going to match up with your heart. It is okay for a man and a woman to trust enough to show their hearts to people. Even back then, mothers in the Bible were still teaching their sons to buy more sobriety. Right. Right. And so Teaching the right ways, even though today modern mothers still teach their sons sobriety in modern ways. Right. We're no different from them. Right. So what would you do now, Tatiana? Just, but back then, they weren't teaching them how to treat women. They were only worried about the men. And this time, you're supposed to treat women and men equally. So teach them the right ways with men and women. Okay, so that, a, a very valid point because back then, women were put in a box. And the reason why we're actually coming forth is not something that I want to do. I want to tell you that. I feel the rising of the feminine energy that has been oppressed. There's a lot to this. I don't want to get in uh, too concerning the oppression. And it's not in a color. It's in all cultures. It was back then. The patriarchal system is showing you um, even today that only men can be president. They have not let a woman, a woman be a president. They might say, oh, she's, she's not, they're not ready or no one has demonstrated that's fine right but the patriarchal system from back when egypt was taken over it shifted because we had women that were called kings mm -hmm. you can look it up mm -hmm. it shifted and they took the power mm -hmm. so it's not an adverse kind of thing it's time to really consider who you are and the value of a woman a lot of women are waiting to be built up. A lot of them don't know how to be built up, but that's what we're here for. I don't want a woman to wait to be built up. I want her to start speaking to herself. But if she needs some help, of course, we're here. And the, the power of men is even that more. But when you come together as a woman and a man, what happens is it's a universal force that will break anything that comes against it. The, the, the sad thing about it is um, the women and the, the men is that in many of our cases, our families have not sustained adversity from the patriarch system and some of the issues in the world. But if we learned and knew better, we would do better. If you knew that you are in a system that really does not gratify your family to be um, solid, you would do something better. You would not be getting caught up after all in the, the negatives. I do believe that the journeys that we've had were necessary, but when will we learn and forgive that time? Because you never can really grasp the learning and the lessons in the pain until you forgive. If you were homeless, let's just say, you know, um, as, as um, an example, why would you be mad at everybody? Did you, one, take care of your business? Did you pay your bills? Did you uh, go to work? Did you, you understand? Did, were you responsible? And if you are not, it's time for you to answer yourself. It's not answer me. It's time for accountability because it don't change. God is not a night dream, a genie kind of God. I, you know, I've told the Bible study that um, I taught on conference line with people that are in different cities and states. God is not somebody that you do. God is in you. Therefore, whatever you do, God is doing it, even if it's dark. 
whatever you do and say. So it, it's up to you. If you don't pay your bills, no, it ain't none of that faith kind of stuff saying, well, I'm going to the casino and this is what I'm doing and then God going to do it. Oh, I'm going to get a car that costs $500 and I only make $200. God's going to do it. We're done with that faith kind of walk, right? We want the truth about what can we do? How can we change our life? Mm -hmm. Woman, thou art loose, TDJ said. Loose from what? You're loose from the lies and deceptions that you've been taught. If you never knew how to buy a house, then you need to study and read woman and man. Because that is where you learn. You don't wait for other people to teach you. I No, I'm, that's not me, right? I got some freedom people up in here, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so freedom means that you take your life into your hand according to your faith, whatever your faith um, system has been, and you begin to study and you stop doubting. Don't let your mind tell you that you cannot do this. You can't read. Everybody can go somewhere and learn how to read when you can't. You can't write. Go somewhere, but you have got to be uh, consistent and press into that type of way. When you want something, you got to sit in it. You got to think and you got to study it. You got to change the old habits. If you didn't clean your house, you need to get up every day and make that a practice. Because if you don't have a clean house, you're going to have rats and roaches. Mm. Why? You don't wash That's dishes. True. You don't wash your, your body. You... Yeah, I don't want to go too far because, you know, I just want to stay right here because this will be done. I just want to stay right here. You don't wash your body and you want to be in a relationship. Oh, yeah, woman just... and man. Don't nobody want to be in a relationship with an unclean woman. And the Bible says that, that God is not with anything that is not clean. Mm -hmm, that's true. Your mind is not clean if you don't bathe. Mm -hmm, that's true. So it's a lot of things that, yes, as women and men, we need to learn, but we need to learn how to discipline the way that we treat each other. So this woman was speaking about her son. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's no different for a woman. If I had a daughter, and I do have a lot of women that call me mom. April is not here. April with her 40-some-year-old self. But I love it because April has told everybody how she, her parents were on heroin. She didn't have the upbringing. People that are honest enough to talk about it, then you can feed them because they're open. Even, even though they're not taking everything, you're feeding them. They're doing something different. She can sustain her apartment uh, bill now. She is not getting eviction notices every month. I'm, look, I'm... Because... When you work with people, it's not that you want to work with them. So you're like this. It's, you want to see people succeed. That's me. You succeeded. You overcame that obstacle. I am happy. You you don't you don't you don't know how to save money. I'm gonna teach you. You give. Put some money in this bank. Now all of y'all done saved up money that's in the bank, right? It's over a hundred dollars because I didn't add it to it, right? The thing about it is you're teaching people principles on how to get up out of the rat race. Mm -hmm. That's what a woman does. So I'm going to put woman on my name because maybe I, I might have been a young woman at a time, but I am a woe man. I've labored through a lot of stuff, but my laboring is not in vain because I pass it on to people so that they can get the understanding and they can make changes in their life. A lot of people look at the changes in them as saying, this is what I'm doing. They never had a leader or a guide. Mothers were not there to nurture uh, the behaviors that caused them obstacles. You can glean from other women. You do not have to live like you used to. And it's the same for men. You know where you can go and get an honest word? Go there and get it. If you're changing, do it. Don't stay in a place where you are satisfied with still being how you was when you say you want to change. 
You got to accept that there is some things you're not going to like when you change because you never stepped over into that water before. I told Alexis about the water. Do you know? Peter was on the beach. And Jesus called him out. Oh, you safe on the sand, right? Where's your confidence and courage at now when I call you out? And you one of my disciples. So he was hesitant. You will never know what's in the deep until you go and step out into it. The unfortunate thing about a person that does not want to take the chance of changing, but they want to talk about change. And when I say they want to talk about change, they're always saying, I, I, I want to change. You don't just want, you do it, like Nike says. Just do it. You take, exactly. you take a step into the water if you're scared of it. Anything that you're afraid of, listen, you challenge it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're afraid to sleep in the dark? Hey, turn them lights off. <laughs> I'm 33 and I still I still sleep with a nightlight. <laughs> All right, I thank you for even saying it, but the point is, huh? She's You're honest. I can't sleep with the we, okay, so we got. <laughs> Me neither. All right. In, no more. Okay, so we got some fears here that we have to we have to conquer, and that means that you got to you got to step into it. Fear means. That I'm bagging you up. Oh, I'm telling you, no. Don't close that closet door. Oh, the boogeyman is here. Don't don't you turn them lights off. <laughs> I, I'm just, that's what fear does. It's holding you back. Huh? <laughs> right. Fear is only holding you back from something that you've never done before. Do you understand? So your first step would be to conquer the fear. You had bad relationships, you don't want to go back, or you go back in and you angry taking that old um, junk and trash that you had with that other person. The problem is, is you never got delivered from that. You never let it go. Everybody is not the same. You may attract the same because you still have the same mindset. You got to take accountability for yourself. All right? So in that, um, the Lamuel, the king is uh is uh being spoken over his mother his mother uh he's being spoken over his mother and she's repeatedly telling him every day who he is that's a mother telling her daughter every day who she is not who she is not not the the teacher that's telling a the child they are not that you are not a menace to society. You are a leader. That's who you are. The teachers have to speak more, but we want to keep mothers and fathers here right now talking about what they should be telling their sons. And it's never too late. You're strong. Even in the midst of adversity, you're speaking what you wanted them to be. The husband that you want or the husband that you have, you're speaking positive even when he run in the streets with other women. Do you know that you cannot change a man's nature. No, you can't. Although many women have thought that. Yes. I'm That's telling true. you. And a, a man can't change a woman. If the dog is in you, woman and man, guess what? The dog has got to come out. That's what deliverance is. The woman and man with the dog in them has got to identify that they are acting like dogs. That's for them. That's a personal problem of yourself. When many women and men has took it personal because the woman or the man cheated on them, guess what? That They cheated on themselves. They didn't cheat on you. The vows that you take is before you and God and them. God and them. When you took vows, B-O-W-S, because I want some women to understand, please lock this in. Honey, been through it, do it to it. Mm. They ain't doing it to you. They doing it to themselves. So now, you may have some discrepancies with me. We can talk about that later because I don't want to keep y'all here too long, right? The issue is, is that your emotions, woman, 
and the personal issues that you have, you need to address them. And sometimes your husband, your mate may have been in that position because you put him there with your mouth. Your mouth is powerful. That's why we're here. It's the same with men that abuse women. You got a woman that don't want to stay with you. You ain't treating them right. Who gonna want to stay with you? Even even your rock wall is gonna leave you. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that is true. You may have a turtle. The turtle gonna try and get away from you if you're abusive. Why? <laughs> it did. Oh, Tati. <laughs> but the key is understanding that your emotions dictate what you say, and you need to get control of yourself that's why jesus had disciples because disciple is derived out of discipleship and discipline is what is given to disciples jesus was a master uh buddha was a master these masters trained people on how to discipline their self why because the greatest part of who you are comes forth in discipline you're not ranting and raging anymore all of us have branded and raged, right? Yes. We were wrong. Some we were right. Oh, they just don't live. Li they don't hear me. I just got to speak up louder. Really? Do your kids listen to you when you uh, yell no. and scream? Okay. No. I can no. know that. Not anymore. No. Because mom will tell me. Okay. It's so I, I didn't like my mother yelling. And so I did not. I tuned her out. Uh, the greatest lesson for me was when I was 25 years old and I heard my mother's voice coming through me, shook me because I was yelling at my children. I, I broke down crying and it, I love my mother, but it was a repeat cycle happening. So I didn't want that for them. I had to get some help for myself. What help did I get? I started really working in my spiritual journey, reading my Bible every day because it shook me like that. I did not want my kids to be nervous and anxious. Sometimes they're going to be crazy anyway. But at least you will have the knowledge of knowing that you did something to change you so they wouldn't have what you received from your mother and father that was not conducive for your healthy growth, right? Yes. Your change, women and men, is in you. And that doesn't mean that everybody's going to meet you when you're changing. How about you be the light, really? The lighthouse, by the way, is out by the ocean. You see, it's not a lot of lighthouses out there. Mm -hmm. It's only one, right? Mm -hmm. For distances. Be a light. And then have a mind to listen, to learn. Get them egos into submission. Because what I would do as a woman, I, I even had an enemy call me a woman of God. Let's clap. <laughs> you be watching me. You know who I am. God take care of me. God changed me and God recreated me. And he's still working on me. So what would I do? The same for others. So what would I expect from people even here? I expect for you to change. I expect for you to do well in your life. And when I say expect, that's a prayer. Because I mean it. That's the heart of God. For everyone to make changes in them. The lighthouse is alone on the beach but do you know in the darkness how much it shines it lights up that area in the area of an ocean it is cuttable darkness you got to cut through the darkness by the ocean so what would you take with you today Somebody give me some, some nuggets. Because this king's mother, from the time of his birth, in Proverbs 31, was speaking over his life. And that's not to say that your son is 40 or 50 years old. You can't speak over his life. You just learned it. Don't you know that God hears prayer? Yes, he does. Yes. To guide 
our children and family and people that want to be guided in a good way, in the right path, and in the path of God. All right. Anybody else? I would say um, for um, these young people of today, they need to really listen to their mothers and fathers, but a lot of single mothers, more and more single mothers and fathers, I believe. I think they should learn how to listen. Uh, Mama tell you, look, don't go out that door because I feel like something's going to happen to you. Mm. And you should not go out that door. You should just say, yeah, Mama, thank you. I'll, I'll stay home tonight. You know? And um, I'm saying this, y'all, because my grandson didn't listen to his mother about ripping and running in the streets. He didn't even know the consequences of what he was doing was going to send him to jail for six years. And I have to, I just have to bring this out because that's the way I feel right now. And it's a shame because he was a straight A student. But he got hooked up with gang members. And he got started using drugs. But my, he didn't listen to it once again. He did not listen. She begged him. You know. So that's that's how it is. That's that's all I have to say. Speak up, Diana. What I got, what you speak of your children is what you can instill in them. You speak good things and positive things, that's what they're going to do. That's what I got. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's right. If you speak negative, so we want to get that, you know, break that spirit of negative. Because your negative words are more, um, they're they seeds that have really went into our hearts more than anything. All of us are here and we've had things that were said to us negative. Yes. Um, things that have been done negative. Yes. So whatever you, you, you speak, the power of your word is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know, consciousness is is necessary. You've got to register. You start praying and meditating every day. Take five minutes to just get silent and get in your mind because if you can't change your consciousness, who you've been is going to exist. You want to take the old you out, prayer and meditation. It's not like uh, it's not possible. It's a work. It's like you go to work. You want to make money, you go there, right? And right. you give it your effort. Why don't you give effort to your prayer life and meditation? See life the way that you want it to be. Do not believe that you have to have it the way that it's been. Why? Why do you believe that? Because the world has showed it to you, then you're in the world. Who are you? You're in it or out of it. Take yourself, put yourself in it, or make a decision to come out of the world. Make a decision to come out of worldly ways. Because the reason why you are in the world and its way is because you have allowed yourself to be there. Take yourself out. You have the ability. How do you get out? I'm giving it to you. Every day. The, pro the, pro the promotion of God is to say that I'm not living like this no more. I hate myself because of what I hear me saying. I've been there. You know, I've worked with so many women and men. Owning a, a, a beauty salon, people came in and out of there. Even then, I didn't have the magnitude of understanding how I was touching their lives. I knew I was doing something, but I never thought I would get to this place where... I don't want to do what I do. I have to. Helping people. And I don't mean helping you by giving you some money or giving you some food. The best thing that you can have is spiritual wisdom to change like you say. But do it. 
I understand that we didn't have the foundation. I understand that we didn't have people that tell you the truth. The truth that I had been afraid of speaking a long time because people didn't want it. I don't care what they want. Listen, if you in my presence and you don't like it, get out. It's too many hurting kids coming in this world. Kids are abused. They're raped every day. They're taken away. Do you understand? They're killed. And how do you stop it? You wise up people that say they want to change. But then, you know, you push people into change. You tell them you must forgive. You're not living if you don't forgive. That's right. Exactly. You must love. That's right. How can you love God and not love his people? I don't care what they do. All of us in here have done something that is disgraceful. Yes? yes? Then we can love and forgive. You can love and forgive. All right? So next week, Thursday, the same time, but the benefits of this man growing up into a king is that his mother showed him and told him every day from the beginning of his life who he was. And even if you live in poverty right now, you speaking to your children will make the difference in how they're coming up. Guess what? It will make the difference in you when you're talking positive. You're not poor no more. You're rich. You're not sad no more. You're happy. Joy is your fulfillment. Wisdom is your portion, not ignorance. Our people perish because they lack knowledge of who they are. When the words are in our mouth, speak, speak over your children. Speak peace because that is the first part. Speak to yourself and believe. And then always be around people to saying what you say. Because if you're a victim, no one can help you. If everyone has done something to you, no one can help you until you overcome that. And you know that you played a part in it. So this is the end of You got some questions here. And I did put the um, Hebrews uh, part of what this king's um, name meant. And it says, today's goal, your thoughts and notions of Proverbs 31 woman and that would be just obtaining what we talked about in this scripture as you approach the study The goal is not to strive for perfection You you're not the law you got to become the Holy Ghost in order to obtain anything And that means that you have got to put God in you as a oneness What would God do? What would Jesus do? However it works for you. Holy Spirit has got to begin to um, bombard your heart and mind. You can pray for that. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. God bless everybody. Can I uh, lead this group in prayer? To you will. You're going to pray. Yeah. All right. So we thank everybody for viewing. And um, we will see you later. I put the information of where we are located and every Thursday from 10 to 11. This is what we're doing. We need to strengthen our communities and um, the body of Christ as well, because a lot of people have not an understanding of what the body of Christ is. It's healthy, but you got to start with the people which means that people have to understand their self and get control of their emotions, learn how to do that, and love over all things. Because love kills sin. It kills it. Love when you feel like you can't. you got to make yourself. Let me tell you something. Loving the unlovable is a lesson that I press myself in. I press towards that high mark. And it, it will happen. And I, I got my um, T-shirt on, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, Woman of Power for the conference. I just want y'all to see nice. that. And so um, get your T-shirts. All right? <laughs>